Welcome to Gamer's Platform. Oh, God. God. Man. Yeah. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> oh, baby! Look at that! Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Gamer's Platform. And this is my copy of Outriders. Why is that anything special? I mean, you may have surmised by the title of the video that I'm not exactly happy right now. Um, just simply because of the fact that I just got this today. Today is April 19th. I pre-ordered this game on March 30th, two days before the game was actually officially released. I got it, what, three weeks later? And I paid for two to three day shipping, as far as I understand. So I'm basically here to say, don't ever buy from Square Enix, uh, from their official website anyway, more, more specifically, don't buy from their official website because you could probably be guaranteed that uh, you're gonna be waiting a while for your product if you're buying physical. If you're buying digital, it's a whole different story. I've bought digital from there before and it worked just fine. Um, <clears throat> but my problem is just simply the fact that I don't know what I was thinking. I was thinking, oh, maybe, you know, if I buy it directly from the publisher, it'll be a little bit faster. That was my first mistake. The second mistake is on them, where they use the United States Postal Service. Are you kidding me, dude? Who uses them to deliver anything anymore? Look at how long it took. FedEx, I would have taken FedEx. FedEx or UPS. Don't ever buy from uh, physical anything from Square Enix ever. Okay, I'm sure I'm, you know, probably one of three people in the entire world that actually buys from the publisher directly, um, or at least has bought. I'm not doing it again. Whereas the rest of you buy from Amazon or Newegg or something like, something like that. I have bought from those websites, and yes, their delivery times are actually quite good. Um, but, you know, I just thought, what, what would be the difference? You know, I, I figured they used FedEx or UPS like anybody else. Apparently not. Apparently they like to use the USPS, and uh, that's that's what you get is slow service. So I definitely don't recommend that you buy from Square Enix's website if you're buying physical copies of anything of theirs. And also, this is a bit egregious. This has gone a bit too far. Um, normally, I'd be like, okay, well, you know, I'd have plenty of other games to play while I wait for this one to come along. And um, I was okay with it being maybe a few days late, but I did pay for two to three day shipping, not two to three week shipping. So I will be pursuing my refund, uh, at least on the shipping. I'm not looking to get all the money back because very clearly I have the product right here. I'm actually going to open it real quick here. And just to make sure, uh, ooh. yeah, it's the PS5. Yeah, we got it here. It's, uh, it's obviously, that's what I've been waiting for. But I am still very annoyed at the fact that the publisher can get away with this. Yes, it was only like nine, was it six or nine dot six dollars, I think. But now it's basically on principle that I want my shipping cost back because I paid for two, three days. I, I did not expect it to come almost a month later. So I, I do not accept this at all. Now, the upside to this is you could take a look at it and be like, well, you know, I mean, the state of the game hasn't exactly been top notch. You know, I kind of missed the, you know, dodged a bullet on that one. Yeah. OK, we could we could say that we could say that it's OK for now just because uh the servers have been crap. Uh, the game is buggy as hell. And so, yeah, sure. I could take a look at that as a silver lining, but I, I don't care. I paid for this product and I paid for a certain type of shipping and they did not deliver until it was too late. So needless to say, I'll be pursuing a refund, at least for my shipping costs, because I don't believe they deserve it. How far I'll get, I have no idea. I don't have any lawyers. I don't have anything to fall back on but I will try my hardest to get my money back because this cannot stand. This this will not continue. Publishers are get, are taking advantage of us, whether it's in microtransactions like loot boxes and stuff like that, um, ridiculous prices for their games that aren't worth the money that we spend on them, or in this case, just not giving a crap. 
I'm just making this this uh, this video to tell you guys uh, there will be a first impressions video coming three weeks late and that you should avoid buying directly from the publisher at all costs. Doesn't matter who it is, Square Enix, uh, Activision, doesn't matter. Don't buy from their websites. Just go to Amazon, go to Newegg. Um, they'll deliver it a lot faster than any publisher could apparently. So, uh, but that's basically about it. I just wanted to get that out there. Whether this video even completely gets suppressed, I don't think it'll get suppressed, but you know, I don't think it'll make it anywhere, but I figured I'd just put my two cents in and, and let you guys know to steer clear of what I just did. Cause, uh, somebody has got to be a Guinea pig, right? Might as well be me. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video guys. Thank you so much for joining me. And, uh, be on the lookout for that first impressions video coming up after this one. But until then, I'm Adam Wolf, and I'll see you guys in the next one.